Captain America number 13 to 19 by Ta-Nehisi Coates, Sean Isaacs, Jason Masters, and Bob Quinn. As his redemption tour continues, Captain America and the Daughters of Liberty go on a mission to liberate some immigrants at the border. Before their captors escape, Sharon Carter is able to determine that the baddies are the watchdogs, some of Cap's oldest enemies. After some heavy hitting, they discover the watchdogs HQ, but unfortunately at the back of the cave, some more of Cap's enemies await. AIM begins executing hostages and later pulling them through a portal. Luckily, daughter White Tiger is able to quickly get into a fight with Red Skull's daughter Sin and the hostages are safe. Later, Cap meets with attorney Bernie Rosenthal, who explains that the recent cop killings in the news are no accident. Angel Laramore was killed to keep something from getting out. With some intel, he discovers some footage of the raid where they died, but while it's brutal in its own right, it reveals a new enemy they're fighting, Scourge. Following a tip, they happen into what they think is a Scourge hideout. Unfortunately, it turns out to be an ambush by U.S. agent, a former Captain America who still thinks Steve is with Hydra. Eventually, he reveals that Scourge isn't just a man, he's an idea. The team works to put two and two together right as Mayor Wilson Fisk is seemingly assassinated. To get to the bottom of everything, Cap and Misty Knight go and visit Tony Laramore, brother of the NYPD victim. They're barely able to put a theory together when the watchdogs attack, killing Tony. Later, the assailants are taken out by Scourge himself, but luckily, Sharon and her team are able to deductively name a suspect, former Special Forces soldier Anthony Diaz. Cap and the Daughters of Liberty raid a halfway house and quell a riot. Afterwards, a cop gives them some intel on where Scourge's hold up. He and his team infiltrate the location and, after carefully avoiding some rather nasty gun turrets, they find Diaz, but he's able to leap in front of the guns to kill himself. However, with one down, there's always another perp willing to pick up the mantle. The story ends with Cap finally gets, getting some information on old flame Peggy Carter. It turns out that the Daughters of Liberty, Liberty have existed for generations. Now their secret leader is revealed as Peggy herself. The problem is that there's more pressing matters to attend to. Sharon Carter is currently partially trapped in a soul stone of sorts. Saving her will be the next mission, but as for this one, we'll have to wait, as this story finally comes to a conclusion. So for such a well-written book, this series continues to be disrespected with vastly different artists. So much so that it's distracting and irritating. Ta-Nehisi Coates may not be my favorite political commentator, but his comic book writing skills are unrivaled. With more consistent artwork, this book would be untouchable. But with the revolving door of whomever is available still spinning, I don't see Marvel getting this any shots in the arm that it might deserve. I give this story an 8 out of 10. If you like this video, there's hundreds more like it spinning several current and classic story arcs. Click the boxes here for more playlists. This video is also accompanied by my blog at nerdiestkidyouknow.com. You can also follow links to my Facebook or Twitter pages, as well as a link to these very issues for sale on my eBay page by clicking below. For the Nerdiest Kid You Know, I'm Sam Torito. Thanks for watching.